Okay, in this tutorial we're covering formal charges, how to calc how to choose the correct Lewis structure based on the formal charges you see. And uh the prerequisite for this tutorial is the uh the first tutorial on Lewis structures. So I'll be following the steps from that that tutorial to draw the uh Lewis structure. So step one, like always is I, I do Lewis structures, it's a three-step process every single time. So the first step is count your valence electrons. So this this carbon has four, the oxygen has six each, so that's 12. So 12 plus four is 16 valence electrons. Okay, um, next is make a skeleton and then fill it with dots. to get octets octets on everything okay so put carbon in the middle attach stuff make some dots okay and this is CO2 I mean we've seen this molecule lots of times so you, you already know that this is wrong but I'm gonna just follow the steps anyway so the next thing is uh to see are you um are you over or under so these are like my super condensed steps over or under so if you're over the valence count you start making double bonds if you're under the valence count you start adding lone pairs to the central atom so we're going to be way over this number here so this is uh from that we have 8 from this we have 8 that's 16 18 20 so we're at 20 so we're four electrons over, so that means we're going to need two double bonds. Okay, and we could do it, there's a, we need, uh, yeah, two extra dashes. So we can get rid of this and add a double bond there. And we could also get rid of this and then add a double bond there. Okay, and then it's down to 16 now, so it should match. Okay, so notice that we could have done this, like when we had that molecule, we could have done this. So we were at this. Okay, we could have actually gotten rid of two of those and two of these and put a triple bond here. And it's actually 16. So this actually, both of these actually work. Okay, which one is the most likely Lewis structure? The most likely structure will, so you want your formal charges, the most likely structure, so what does most likely mean? Uh, it would be the one with the fewest formal charges. And if you're going to have formal charges, then the negative formal charges, the negative formal charges should be on the more electronegative atom. Okay, so let's see what's happening on, on our structures here. So this oxygen is 6 valence minus dots plus dashes. So 6 minus 2, 4, 5, 6, 0. You'll notice oxygen, when it's following the honk rule, it has a zero formal charge. That's kind of like where the honk rule comes from. So it, it when, when it has two dashes and two lone pairs, it's going to have a, a zero on it. When carbon has four dashes, it'll have a zero likewise. So this one has uh, 6 minus 2, 4, 5, 6. So this will be 0. And then my carbon here is 0. It's 4 minus 1, 2, 3, 4. OK, so what's happening on this structure is uh, this oxygen right here is going to have a minus 1. So let's count. So 6 minus 2, 4, 6, 7. 6 minus 7 is a minus 1. This oxygen here is going to be a plus 1. So it's going to be 6 minus 2. 3, 4, 5, so this is plus 1. So these these add up. Oh, and our carbon here is 0. So it's 4 minus 4. So 
these actually add up to be a zero net charge, which is what it is, right? There's zero net charge. However, um, it kind of it's we want to choose the structure with the fewest formal charges. So our, our most likely structure will be this one. Okay, and this one we, it you know it probably does exist if you were to take actual atom pictures, but it might be like less than one percent, okay, or or something like that. So the most likely structure would be this, and then they confirm all this stuff by actually measuring the bond distances, which is like consistent with there being double bonds on both sides of the carbon. So this is like experimentally verified. By, by them being by scientists being able to measure bond lengths all right so let's try one more practice one so thi the thiocyanate ion and we're going to try to pick the most likely lewis structure so let's do a valence count i always i always write these three steps so valence count we have 5 4 and 6 plus 1 Okay, so that's 7 and 4 is 11, plus 5 is 16. Okay, make my make your skeleton. This We'll call it a skeleton with, with octet dots. How's that? Okay, so... And then just fill it in with dots. Until everything has an octet. And now we count. Okay, and we see if we're over and over or under and then you adjust okay so uh we're gonna be way over i think so we have a uh, eight here plus eight more that's 16 17 18 19 20 so and we need to get down to 16 so we're gonna need two double bonds so we erase make by the way make sure you use pencil when you do lewis structures so we erase that one and that one and put a double bond here and erase that one and that one and put a double bond there. Okay, so everything has octets still. And we have, uh, uh, let's see, that's 8 and 8. So that's 16 electrons, so it works. Okay, notice we could have also done this, similar to uh, the CO2 up there. We could have done this. We could have drawn this structure with the triple. Okay, or we could even have done this, a triple on the nitrogen and then a single on the sulfur. So let's see which one of these is the best and uh, do and look at those two recommendations. So nitrogen will be 5 minus 2, 4, 5, 6. So this nitrogen will have a minus 1. And you notice it's not following the honk rule. It doesn't have three dashes like the honk rule suggests. Our sulfur here is going to be a zero. So six minus dots plus dashes, six minus two, four, five, six. And our carbon here is a, a zero. This is probably going to be the winner because our net our net charge has a minus one actually. And then this, this ends up having a minus one. And the, the minus one is on the more electronic the most electronegative atom so this is probably the correct one but let's look at the other ones so 5 minus 2 4 2 4 6 7 this has a minus 2 carbon is 0 and this sulfur here is going to be a 6 minus 2 3 4 5 so it's a plus 1 so th so this has like too many formal charges so it's already like worse than this one, the first one. Okay, now let's check out the last one. 5 minus 2, 3, 4, 5. And you notice it's following the honk rule too. Carbon is 0. And our sulfur has 6 minus 2, 4, 6, 7. has a minus 1. So this is, this is an acceptable structure. They're all acceptable actually. But this one you have a negative on a not as high an EN as the first atom so the first molecule we drew first Lewis structure so the correct one or the most likely would be that one